Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and welcome to my frog stream. I call it a frog stream because there's a cement sculpture of a frog over there. I elevated this whole area up from, it was all marshy, but I wanted to do a trail right through here, so now this little, little step you can go over, and it's just raised up by the local stones, and the little stream goes through. It's a very peaceful place to hang out when you're not getting attacked by bugs. Today's a cool day, so there's not a lot of bugs out. Um, I thought it'd be a nice peaceful place to talk about something that I think is a real problem on the YouTube prepping community, and I alluded to it uh, in the title. And what I, I, well, the best way I think to get at it is, well, I've been doing these videos for about a year. I love it. I've got about a thousand subscribers, and you guys are great, especially the ones that leave comments. You know who you are. I just love interacting with you guys. It just keeps me going, and your encouragement means means so much. I. I love the craft of making videos, but I think if I didn't know that people were enjoying them and finding them informative, I probably, I probably would have stopped a while ago. Uh, you guys really keep me going, and I, I, I love you guys, so thank you for doing that. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video um, that really went crazy. My, my average video gets between a couple hundred and a couple thousand views. And, I, and again, that's great. I'm happy with that. And I like that the, the, the quality of the people that are checking out these videos, not just you know masses of you know idiots coming in you know, trolling and, you know, being jackasses and stuff. So uh, I think it's a good size. You know, I'd like it to get bigger someday maybe, you know, slowly, you know, with more quality people. But uh, I think it's a good size. Um, and I, I'm not looking for giant explosive growth, but some huge growth happened a few weeks ago, and it really illuminated to me this, this issue. Uh, I did a couple videos on North Korea. I think there were three of them. And they exploded. One of them, the first night, it got 10,000 views. That doesn't happen for my channel at all. In fact, when I read the number, I was like, does that say 1,000? I, I couldn't quite read it. When I saw 1,000 in one night, I'm like, oh my god, 1,000 in one night. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, at this point, the, the, altogether, they're like 30 or 40,000 views. And that was just about North Korea. You know, there were some things going on. I thought it was important to mention it, but it wasn't the most important topic I've ever talked about. And there wasn't any skill there. It was just something to keep, keep your eyes on. I do a lot of other videos that I think are a lot more important than those videos were. Uh, I did them because I thought they were interesting. It was something I was thinking about. Uh, and like I said, my average video doesn't get anywhere near 20,000 views. Now, it might sound now like I'm like sounding bitter, like I'm thinking, uh, oh, I, why don't all my videos get 20,000 views? Uh, and it's not that at all. What I really think is that people are really fixating on the wrong the wrong things uh, on on YouTube when when they're you know having an interest in clicking on something, and to get away from my channel, so it doesn't sound like I'm whining about my channel. Uh, one of my favorite uh, channels, and I have, I have a lot of channels that I love, and I'm, I hate to not mention all of them right now, but I'm going to mention just this one because she really got me started when I first started out, and this is Prepper Popery. Uh, she's got a great channel. It's about homesteading, doing things for yourself. A lot of great skills, uh, and uh, she gave me like a shout out way back when when I started, and she got me going with a you know a bunch of her great people, and I've still got a lot of you guys with me. Uh, and um, she's got an excellent channel. She's got so much information on all these great skills, but the the majority of her videos, they're just a few hundred views for each one, and she has four times as many viewers, uh, subscribers, I'm sorry, uh, four times as many subscribers as I do, and her videos are only getting a couple hundred hits, and it's invaluable information what she's putting out there. So she's got a good subscriber base, she's got great information, but it's only a few hundred views for each one, where I do a, you know, some video about North Korea, and Kim Jong-un says something about April the whatever, and it gets 20,000 views. I think people are really, not, not people, I think uh, a lot of YouTube preppers, people who consider themselves preppers and are on YouTube, um, and maybe people that don't consider themselves preppers too, but I think really people are focusing on, on the wrong things. And I'm not saying people shouldn't focus on that, but there are some nuts and bolts things that people should be learning about that apparently they're not. Where you have you know uh, you know great videos on prepper potpourri about you know how to plant this, how to make this, uh, you know how to store and can, and all this. Prepper potpourri has a definite difference of opinion <laughs> between her and myself when it comes to whether or not you should reuse uh, you know just store bought jars for for canning. I'm kind of pro, and she's sort of anti in that camp. But uh, but she's got great information, and it's just not getting out there. And that is exactly the kind of information that. 
I or you or anyone else wants and needs in the, in the case of a, a real collapse. You know, it's good to keep your eyes on the ball in terms of international politics and Ebola and UFOs coming in and colonizing the planet. I mean, those are all interesting things and they're good things to keep your eye on. Um, especially if those aliens are carrying zombies with bird flu. Because here's the, vi the video again, right here. That could happen. Watch out for that shit, dude. That would be the downfall of us all. Watch out for that. But in the meantime, learn how to do all the other things you'd need to do if the aliens invaded with the zombies with the bird flu. You know, grow your own food. And I feel like people are focusing more on the fears than they are about the solutions to the fears. And that's it. I don't know. I don't think it's going to get solved. I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. I think it's a problem. And whenever you see a problem with someone else, that someone's really committing a problem, I think it's a good opportunity to look within yourself and think, geez, am I doing that at all? And sure, I guess I, you know, I, might, I might click on some sensational thumbnails now and then. Uh, and maybe I, 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 maybe at the expense <laughs> of other more valuable things I should be looking at. You know, are you doing that at all? Do you find that you really get drawn in by, like, you know, a picture of an alien spaceship blowing up New York City and it says, like, watch out, January whatever, you know, whatever year, you know, secret signal intercepted. <laughs> you know, the aliens are going to come in. Do you, I mean, do you get drawn in by that stuff? Because that stuff can, is fun. But um, is it costing you, you know, your free time that you could be using to learn some real stuff? Uh, not to say that that's not a threat. It could happen. Maybe someday it will. <laughs> I don't want to draw away from it, but, uh, you know, there's some other base level, sort of foundational skills that, uh, you know, you should worry about those first before you worry about the other stuff. That's it. I'm just going to sit here and meditate. I don't really meditate. I'm kidding. I do enjoy the spot, though. You can hear the little trickling waterfalls. That's it. Look within yourself. Do you do that kind of stuff? If you do, maybe think next time you're going to click on, uh, you know, some crazy thumbnail, possibly of some dude's boobs. You know, there's all kinds of crazy thumbnails out there. Watch out for them. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.